Thanks, Space Rogue. A report recently released by SANS Institute claims that security researchers are finding so many new vulnerabilities that vendors cannot possibly keep up. The Cybersecurity Risks report released last month shows that operating system vulnerabilities have decreased dramatically over the last three years, and that the time it takes to patch them has also decreased. Sweet. However, the number of application vulnerabilities and the time it takes to patch them have steadily increased. Yeah, about that. <laughs> According to the Zero Day Initiative, which tracks unpatched vulnerabilities, there are currently 119 open vulnerabilities over 30 days old. The five oldest vulnerabilities are all high risk, and three of those belong to one vendor, Hewlett Packard. HP's oldest vulnerability turns three years old this month. <laughs> these 119 open vulnerabilities are just the tip of the iceberg. Some researchers hold out for one reason or another. SANS indicates in their report that they feel too many security researchers are busy looking for vulnerabilities and not working for software companies atten attempting to patch holes. You know, I've heard that uh, security researching is a really thankless job, but that's just cold. SANS lays this problem squarely at the feet of application developers who are constantly adding new features rather than securing the features they have. <laughs> Funny, I just got a little deja vu. So what does all this mean for the security admin down in the trenches trying to keep their employer or home network secure? <laughs> okay. Even aside from the gross negligence of allowing vulnerabilities to live long enough to be capable of asking where babies come from, it's not exactly a new concept that keeping your network secure is a glorious uphill battle. No matter how many devs are gumming the dam or how OCD your patching habits are, there's at least one skilled mofo out there who could figure out how to own the crap out of you. And anyone can be patient zero. What this report means, according to Sans, is said mofos have become a problematically large number of people. It shows indication of an imbalance between those pointing out the problems and those implementing solutions. And it brings into a sort of sickly green light some of the companies you're probably best off not counting on for supporting your security endeavors. So basically, in case you were wondering, it's still a jungle out there. That's it for me this week. This is Courtney for the Hacker News Network. Back to you, Space Rogue.